So last summer, I broke the piece of my tractor that I used to tow my sweeper with. So I'm gonna have to fabricate a piece. It's gonna fill this space. Here in the back of my trailer hitch, I got these two bolts where my other piece used to be. I'm gonna have to take this off. I'll use this as a template and I'm going to uh, see if I can find something that I can bring out here and have my pin in. Okay, as luck would have it. Found this old piece of steel. We'll see uh, if that's gonna, that's gonna do the trick. It's definitely wide enough. I'm gonna have to make these holes a little larger though that or I cut it here drill my holes there and then drill the center hole here big enough for a pin I'm gonna have to cut it here and I'm gonna have to cut it there here's what we got no problem it's a nice it's a nice square and it's hot so what I want to do I put the holes down here so that I know I'm going to clear my ball that I, I want to keep on there. And if I can make this in a way that it's permanent and I never have to take it off, then that's what I want to do. Flip that over. Let's get my pencil. I'm going to mark the line, the line here up and down. That's where I want to drill the hole. Right there. So let's clamp this down. Clamping this down because it's so small, it's going to be hard to hold. So I got the two holes. Okay, we can fudge a bit with the height. And I'm gonna put this drill bit in. So I got my center hole cut here. So when it says on the tractor, it's gonna be like that. And our pin's gonna go through there. The pin is somewhere out in the field. Yeah, it, it fell out. Couldn't find it. I'm gonna have to make this hole just a bit bigger because I'm gonna use this as my pin. Okay, so our next task is to make our pin. I'm gonna make our pin with this nut that I'm going to put on there. Now the nut spins freely and I don't want that to spin freely because what's going to happen is that the vibrations move on and on and on. Um, this is just going to come off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through it and I'm going to pin it. So to start, I'm going to put two nuts on it so that it's going to sit flat. And I want it to sit flat there. And this one, I'm just going to try and, and hold it by hand, and we'll see how that works. If there's any binding in it, uh, the drill bit's so small, it'll just break before anything happens. I want to go right in the center. Like so. And I'm just going to drill all the way through. Perfect. Simply going to put a nail in it, and this nail is going to bend it up. There you go. It's pinned. Now that's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to drill a hole through this at the bottom as well. 
little bit of effort, but uh, I did go clean through. Let me grab a pin. Woohoo, we're in business. So, that, a washer, a couple more washers, and a spring. And this. That's going to work just fine. Yipper, let's get her together. Get her together. And here it is mounted up. Okay. So once we get out to the field, I'll hook up the uh, sweeper and we'll see what we can do. So we hook this up here. And I got the pin going through. I got a spring in there only to minimize the travel. Right? And then it's going to go through everything. And then pinned on the bottom. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Let's uh, let's put the uh, basket on and see what happens. Well, the pin worked. It's holding on. Holding on pretty good. It's my sweeper that's having an issue. I'm gonna have to fix that later. <laughs> 